Happy Sunday, you guys, and welcome back to the channel. It is our day three of our Need to Know November fast. Hopefully, you guys are doing this with us, and you guys are either doing water fasting or intermittent fasting or just plain fasting in general if you are um, including other kind of beverages, which we're actually going to be talking about today. So if you guys are new to the channel, I am Ashley, and this is all about my own personal weight loss journey. But I decided the last couple of months of the year, we're going to do something every month. Uh, last month, we did uh, our motivation fast, which every day we did different quotes. I will post the link for that playlist down below if you guys want to check it out. This month, we are doing Need to Know November, where we are going over different topics fasting related. Um, but of course, as always, if you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to help you out. Now, I am not new to fasting. I have been fasting since February and I have lost a little over 100 pounds. Um, I, I have had some health issues here and there, so uh, things are kind of, you know, one day at a time for me, but that's totally fine because this is a journey, not a race. And I'm just hanging in there and so I'm hopefully... Um, providing you guys with not only my updates, but also keeping you guys encouraged and motivated to stay on your own personal journey. So today, like I said, day three, we are going to jump into the topic today, which is what types of fasts are there? So this month is going to really be talking about um, different things fasting related, like I said, but it is kind of geared more towards maybe those people who have done fasting, but they're not really too sure, you know, the specifics about it or newbies who are just now starting. So if you guys are familiar with fasting already, feel free to comment, leave your opinions and what you guys have learned down in the comments below and we can make sure Everyone who is looking into doing fasting has a really great support system because that's what we're all here for. We are here to support and encourage and motivate you guys watching. So never feel like you're alone. If you guys have any questions ever, just please let us know. So what types of fasts are there? This is a common question and a lot of people just think fasting was standing from food. So let's remember our definition. The definition of fasting is the willing abstinence from some or all food and drink for a certain period of time. So what does that mean? Just drink water? It can. So let's go over, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have five, five different types of fasting that I consider fasting. And then um, there's a couple other ones that I'll talk about too. So first thing is water fasting. Now water fasting is exactly what it sounds like. It is just consuming water. It's not consuming coffee. It's not consuming um, carbonated water. It is not consuming tea or juice or anything like that. Water fasting equals water only. Okay, super simple. Now there's what I call fasting, regular fasting. Fasting, in my opinion, is no food or no juice, but you can consume things like black coffee or even tea or even um, other, other liquids like broth. Some people will do broth. Carbonated waters as well, that's totally fine. Next, we have dry fasting. Now, dry fasting confuses a lot of people because there isn't a lot of education out there for people who have never heard of that, uh, about it. So... Dry fasting is where you abstain from water as well. Now, that sounds really dangerous. I know I can guarantee that it's not as dangerous as what it sounds, and I will get into that in another video. Um, but something you should know about dry fasting is not only is it withstanding from water, but there are two different types of dry fasting. There is a hard dry fast, and there is also a soft dry fast. Hard dry fast, no contact with water whatsoever. That also includes washing your hands and taking a shower. 
soft dry fasts allow for showers and or washing your hands. Um, I work at a school, so when I have done dry fasts, I've always done a soft dry fast because those kiddos, let me tell you the germs, you gotta wash those hands. So I prefer the soft dry fast. When I do them, I absolutely cannot stand dry fasting, just between us. Um, but yeah, so that is totally your call, whether you do a soft or dry or hard dry fast. The next one up is going to be intermittent fasting. Now this is always one of my favorite things and I tend to do a lot of intermittent fasting, especially here lately since I've, ha I've been introduced to new medications um, for the, the pain that I've experienced. That's another story. Um, and so intermittent fasting is really choosing a window of your time to consume your meals and then fast for the rest of the time. So a lot of the time people who are doing keto do intermittent fasting. You start off at 816, which means you have eight hours to eat your food, followed by a 16 hour fast. I generally tell people just as a, an example, you can start your day at 10 a.m. Then you eat until your last meal at 6 p.m. and then you fast the rest of the time. Most of the fast is during when you're sleeping. So it's really not that difficult, especially for newbies, okay? So if you guys are just starting out fasting, if you cannot go the full 24 hours, don't worry about it. Just go into your intermittent fasting. You can do 816 until you feel comfortable. You can do um, the next week or even in two weeks, you can push that up to, you know, only a seven hour window and a 17 hour fast. And then the next week or so, you can push that up even more, a six hour window, 18 hour fast. It's totally up to you. It's totally up to you what time frame you do. Um, but it's really whenever you feel comfortable. And so that's really what I recommend to my clients um, since I'm a keto coach. I recommend doing intermittent fasting um, in steps, not just jumping into the fasting because I really feel like it builds a solid foundation, not only for your body to get used to only eating a certain time, but also it gets your body used to going into your stores and uh, really using those fat, um, the fat cells for fuel when you're not eating. Okay, so it's kind of like building the framework. Next, we have alternative um, alternative day fasting, which is pretty much exactly what it sounds. So you eat one day and then you fast 24 hours the next day. Then you eat the, the next day and then fast 24 hours the next day. So that is also customizable. And that's a beautiful thing about fasting is that you can pick and choose. It's not a set schedule for everybody. Everybody is different. Everybody's schedule is different. Everybody's body is different. Everybody's health is different. So if you find yourself wanting to fast, you have a plethora of ways that you can do it, different combinations and everything. Um, but consistency is really key and it's not, it's not hard to fall back into bad habits if you're not consistent. Okay. So the other things too, there's like juice fast, watermelon fast. There are five, two fast. There are two, three fasts any combination of those. So your juice fasts are going to consume, you're going to consume just freshly squeezed juices. I actually did that when um, Joe Cross came out with the juicing documentary. I can't even remember what the name of it is now, but, um, and then there's watermelon fast where people are only consuming watermelon, which I don't really understand because it's a lot of natural sugar. And um, yeah, anyway, uh, the five two, which is fasting for five days and then eating for two days or vice versa, eating for five days and fasting for two days. The two three is exactly what it sounds like. Fasting for two days, eating for three, fasting for two, eating for three or vice versa on that fasting for three, eating for two. So really it's up to you what kind of fast you do. There are many different types. I suggest um, whatever you want to do, researching that and really sticking to it. If it doesn't work for you guys, if the time's off, if you can't make the 24 hours, if you can't make, start small, okay? You guys sometimes have to walk before you can run and that is totally fine. I know it's very, very intimidating. Some of these people who get on different platforms and they're like, I lost this amount of weight. I fasted for, you know, the whole month of whatever. And, and they're seeing, you know, you're seeing all these great results and everything. It can be very intimidating, especially if you've never done fasting before. Um, or maybe you've only done intermittent fasting. 
So take it slow. You guys are totally fine. Okay. We are here to help you. It's totally fine to just fast, you know, part of the day and build it up very slowly over time. Okay. So I hope that helps you know a little bit about the different types of fasting. There are many different ones out there and you guys can find the one that works the best for you. Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to share the video if you know of anybody who needs help um, getting started on fasting. Every day we're going to be doing a different topic. So I hope you guys stick with me. Once again, I'm Ashley. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow for our day four.